Hello there. This is me again. Not with an update on uh, what we're doing. But uh, I just uh, I got sidetracked. And uh, I decided to do something. I wanted to prove something. Not only uh, to myself. Uh, but to anybody who's watching this, especially the people who write the operating system, that this message is a lie. And uh, why do I say it's a lie? Because, uh, let's see now. One in there. Let's see now. This this has le uh, less than a hundred hundred and sixty lines of code in it. Yeah, and uh, basically most of the code is white space. Nothing else going on. FSCMT. Now this is what you would call a full screen command prompt. I can edit things. All works fine. Uh, I can do dir dir slash x. Now the only thing about this full screen DOS box that is uh, impossible to do um, according to the authorities, um, is that it doesn't really look uh, that clear, right? No, I'm fine. I'm not making any uh, attempt at uh, smoothing or anything. So it's just a straight, straight up split. These lines, for instance, could be smoother, you know, whatever. But I mean, to me, this is preferable over reading those tiny little letters that we had before. And um. It's also preferable, I think, the, fa uh, the fact that it's, see, it's just this box here, you know, okay? Oh, this is a window that, that didn't, cha it didn't change the um, screen resolution. I don't know if it minimizes itself. No. The only way to get out, really, would it? Uh, but you see, in the old days when uh, it actually used to change the screen mode, then all your icons would get messed up. But with this full, let me repeat that again, full screen mode command prompt, that's impossible. Uh, you know, the the impossibility of having a full screen command prompt. Well this full screen command prompt that is, that is impossible I think behaves in a better way uh, than the other full screen. Now one of the things that, um, that it doesn't seem to do very well is it, is it doesn't seem to have that blinker. You see? I get the blinker when I have the focus here. But I don't get it here because I don't actually have the keyboard focus. I'm just passing the keys on down to the to that DOS box. No, I uh, could probably simulate the uh, the focus, you know, on the other box, or maybe move it to a position off screen, or, you know, and have it posts the keys to my window. 
Uh, but uh, the point is, I think that uh, you can. It, it really does suck about that curse. But um, you can uh, tell your friends to uh, get on the horn with um, the biggies over at Microsoft and uh, have them uh, have a look at the impossible full screen loan command prompt. And uh, maybe they, they can expand on, on my few lines of code and add support for a blinking cursor, you know, or add support for quitting it, or add support for uh, um, well, actually, I think this might work. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's just choosing a different, um, choosing a different mode because I'm, I'm, the way this box is, you know, different has a different dimensionality than the other one. Anyway, just wanted to make that point. I mean, it's been bugging me for a long time, and uh, although I, I probably won't use that program, I would use it if, if I really felt like I wanted to spend the time to turn it into a really nice program uh, with, with the letters there nicely smooth and where an in, interrupt alt enter and uh, where I can exit, you know, exit the thing where I don't have to have this win, uh, you know, a fake window on top of this window, right? I mean, the program that that is uh, that created this window also has the ability to do what I just did, much more so even. You know, it no. I have to try and figure out what the handle for this window is. This this program, this window, knows what its handle to window is already. Not only that, it's doing all the draw, drawing, so it doesn't have to, uh, you know, do a, what I'm doing, which is a, basically a fit split. If you put it in my path. This is this is just bit play, and uh, you know I'm I'm not hooking the uh, to make it efficient. I could hook the uh, input and output streams, and I tried for hours to do that. In fact, it's quite difficult, and I tried you know, I've, uh, Named pipes or, or anonymous pipes, and you know, trying to capture that input and output, and, and so on, so that I would know, you know, when it's when I don't have to keep splitting the same screen over and over again. And they don't have that problem. They 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 know when they when they're updating the screen. So in fact, my Massive hundred lines of code here, hundred and fifty nine lines. You can believe it. Well, there's a lot of light space too. Uh, could probably be reduced to the two or three lines. In, you know, in their, in their code. And I don't know, I, you know. I shouldn't be the one that has to do it. And nobody would ever pay for a utility like that. It's just that they don't want to do it. And now I've proven it, and that's that. Okay. Now I'm going to get back to what I really uh, want to do, and that is uh, this synchronization thing. This will just be, uh, I'll just put it in my rants list. See ya.